Well, what well, one people? Bless upon yourself, we're here with another update. And if I didn't see this for myself, people, I swear I wouldn't have believed, you know. And somebody said, um, teamwork make the dream work. And people, this is Ad Movado show over there in the UK, right? That, um, you know, over the, <laughs> over the weekend, look at that, look at that. The man, them a scale the fence. And they have females there too, you know, but the females, them, they can't, they can't scale that wall. You know what I mean? That wall is too high. You know what I mean? Look at, look at that. Teamwork, the man, them say make the dream work. You understand? Yeah, man. Golly God performing. You know what I mean? We can't, we, 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 we can't, foresee, we can't see um the God performing. No, sir. Man, them scale the fence, brother. <laughs> I swear, people, if if I didn't see this, I wouldn't believe it, man. You know what I mean? And as you guys, I'm going I'm to play the clip for you guys. Can you hear the God, the Golly God perform it? At the same time, this is happening, you know. You know? Yeah, man. After how many years Golly God and perform in the UK? You yeah, understand? I'm, we can't ever see the God? No, man. I'm sure a lot of Caribbean people, they're well aware of this. But to see this in the UK, you know, internationally, you know what I mean, overseas. No, sir. Man, them no one miss the Golly God show. That's how I see it. I see some gal was there too, but like I said, the fence are too wide. They can't scale the fence there, but the wall there. Mm-mm. Why? May I tell you? Anyway, people, leave your thoughts in the comment section. I mean, you know, let me know what you guys think about this. All right? But, like I said, I, 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 if I didn't see this, I wouldn't believe it. You know what I mean? I, I heard about, you know, I heard about it, but I didn't see the video. And people were saying, oh, oh, man, scale fence for go see the golly god and da 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 But there was women there, too. There was females there. But they couldn't scale that wall there, brother. The wall too high. You know what I mean? But the man, them... No, brother. <laughs> As the person said in the caption, teamwork, make the dream work, boy. Nah, like, anyway, people, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about that. And we want to talk about this, um, you know, this old some, um, reggae some fest. You know, what happened with um, Scatter Burrell and Nige Boy and, you know, the whole Barry Salmon and um, Babyface, you know, that thing that happened at Songfest, but, um, you know, I see Scatter Burrell, he did a, um, a video, and I saw Dr. Love responded to Scatter Burrell, right, you know, a lot of people like photo hypes, you know, people outside, other entertainers, you know, you know, they have their own views on what happened, but, um, Scatter Burrell basically was clearing, um, you know, the air about what happened and dr love response so i have those two videos i'm gonna play for you guys um where scatter burrell is um explaining himself right and what really happened why they had to shut down you know the um you know the i guess it was the the the, the area where the artists them they had their camps or the um you know, their booth or their trailers, you know, set up, you know. It's a, it's a bag of things. But I'm going to let Scatta Burrell and um, Dr. Love, you know, share their views and explain what really happened. And you guys can, um, you know, look at that and leave your thoughts in the comment section. You know what I mean? But anyway, people, I hope you guys are enjoying, you know. Your day, enjoy your morning, enjoy your afternoon, wherever you're at. Enjoy your night. Um, just be safe. Stay blessed. Check on you guys on another one. All right? Let's go more. Kiss and say, Beres is in num tent number, whatever. Beres is in tent. This time, Beres was in tent. What's this? One or two? Beres was in tent number two. Give me Beres sticker, please. Beres was in tent number two. 
So this is Beris. Uh, I did it nice with that stick. Oh, good. Y'all see clear? Y'all see the word clear? <laughs> TV. <laughs> yeah, TV skill. This is Beris tent. Right here. Ah, oh, okay. I'll put one big B and try and put it. The marker. Go and show them the, the go and show it to them blocks. So B is for this is Barris's tent. Can I see that a little bit? You see that a little bit? Okay. It's a very stint. Okay, cool. Great. All right, back up a little bit. You see me? Yeah, I don't want to show too much now. I want you to see the full thing. So this is very stint. So Barry is dropped off and is, and is escorted via this route here to his tent, which is tent number two, right here. Right up, right, bold, baby face, or face, or B, B, F, B, F, baby face. So, same thing goes for baby face. Baby face is dropped off at the artist drop off point. Has a very large team, probably about eight lead singers, backup singers, about four engineers, band members. So, it's a huge team for baby face and a big team for birds. These are two main. Ox, top of the line ox. So them, them, they are their them crew is huge. Now these ten now, so they had the the, the opportunity to choose baby. This tent was allotted to baby bears because we don't want bears to walk far, but we don't want to put him too near our own crowd or anything. So we we'll put bears here. Baby faces team wanted to be here. So this is Burris in tent number two. This is Babyface team in tent number one. I'm gonna show you Nigel Boy's tent for a reason, which I am gonna get to later on, right? Let me have Nigel Boy stick on the brother. This is Nigel Boy. A Nigel Boy or a Niggy Boy? All respect, Nigel Boy. Nigel Boy tent, right? So other artists here, Luciana is around here somewhere, and Norris Man is around here somewhere. The reason why I'm focusing on Beres, Babyface, and Nigel Boy, because after Nigel Boy performed, there was Beres, and after Beres performed, there was Babyface. That is the little segment we're focusing on at the moment. Now, on a typical reggae song fest night, show night, all of these areas, are occupied by artists. These are old in areas. Artists are in their tent. In these tent, they have a rider where they say they want Hennessy, Red Bull, Cranberry. They want water. Only thing we don't give them is weed for smoke. <laughs> but almost anything we them want, we make sure certain caliber artists can ask and it is provided. But every artist have water and refreshments. If they want food, they get food too. So these tents are for the artists and their crew members who are working. It's not fully for entourage, but you know in a Jamaica, as we stated, every artist traveled entourage. So a tent that is supposed to occupy 20 people will sometimes have 30 people in it. As long as the artists don't mind and they don't get in the way of another, other patrons or other guests, we facilitate it, right? So... Here's the problem. While this tent will be filled with 20 persons, you will have another 10 loitering in these pathways, in these walkways. Because that's how we stay. We know everybody. So we'll, we'll, we'll chill with the artist a little bit. Is that another half hour before him go up on stage? I'm going to walk around. I see John Tom and me and John Tom stand up for a reason. Uh, you understand me? So that's how we stay. We are Jamaican. Nothing wrong with that. It's all love. We know each other, so it's all love and the vibes backstage. Great. Wonderful vibe, you know. So these passageways, these walkways, are always packed with people. However, 
people who cannot stay around here and watch the show. This is, remember, this is backstage, you know, but people cannot stay around here and watch the show. But what Reggae Sumfest facilitate for people who are backstage is another backstage area over here. They must see my point, right? Right over here. So you see the whole of that, you see the whole of that space there, so? <clears throat> this is no passageway, you know, you know. None of these, this is not a passage, it's a open, this is, a, this is a, actually another venue where probably can hold around 400 or 500 people, right? We provide this for artists and entourage because artists and them entourage can, the entourage can go up on the stage, right? So we give them this section with a big screen, big screen with great audio to watch the show. So them have one bar right here, so. So them can drink, them can put out them chair, them can leisure in this area. There's two bars there. Talk about them here, man. This on a TV, you know, brother. <laughs> there's two bars. See the one bar here, so, and there's another bar here, so. This big area, this is where the reggae sound fest provide for artists entourage. So if we don't want people loitering in this passageway, we don't need to run them out the venue or do anything despicable. We just say, please go to the other black backstage area. Because some artists prefer to not have people standing in front of their tents. Barry's, you don't want people standing in front of Barry's tent. Right? But because Barry's tent is around the back here, so you, you don't get a lot of that. But we always have a problem with people loitering in this area. So these are DSR, these are DSR, DSC administration. This is storage. This is where we store food and the drinks to service the tent. This is where we do the internet. These are security posts. A lot of things happen right here. This is total business. But here is artist tent. May I go too slow? May I speed it up a little bit? This is another bar. Is that what it's right, Bob? This is another bar for facilitate people that will love lighter in this area, right? And a typical night, a lot of people in both areas, in both areas. On this Saturday night, however, we understood a security risk for Babyface as a very big security detail. They outlined that in their contract. They have a very serious security detail and wanted meetings prior to showtime to discuss it. So while they listed that in the contract, we had to have a security meeting with them. Just like if I move with the president, the, sec the president's security detail, I go visit the site where I'm supposed to make a speech, whatever, and look at the weak areas and point them out and see what they can cover to make the place safe. Sound check there, baby faces security said, these passageways are a bit small. And when we move, we move very fast. What we don't want is to be moving and pushing people down and injuring anybody or injuring our artists or any of your artists. Cause it can, will be liable for a lawsuit or the other way around. Now, remember these, these are people, them not come from Jamaica. So them not come and see them bridging and them not come see them friend. Them come see a passageway that they need to get to this tent and from this tent to backstage right here. So this is how you enter the backstage. So if they have to move from the drop off point and get to this tent quickly, they are looking at the safest route where there won't be a problem to anybody or, or, or anybody be a problem to them. So they ask, can this passageway be cleared when we are moving? That was the request from Babyface team. Not that can you empty backstage. They ask, can these walkways be cleared? That's a simple ask for the betterment of everybody on the festival. I'm sure everybody agree that. No, Saturday night is very easy to, to run with regular sample. It's not like Friday night. Friday night you have John Tom, Ari Ray, Ray every all over your son. And it's a dance hall crowd. I have a whole heap of man and a whole heap of people. Hard for control. Tedious work. But with the Saturday night, you have a very disciplined set of people. 
berries come and him and him people in them tent and them a drink and them a reason and the vibes, the atmosphere backstage is sweet, great. So there's not a lot of people in these areas. So it's easy to say, please, everyone who comes with an artist, please find their respective tents, right? Because there is a security detail that is coming through shortly and we need to keep these walkways clear. That was the request. When, when Babyface came, we timed it, the transportation that was bringing him to drop off. And when he was like five minutes away or 10 minutes away, we made the request. And a security team did a full sweep. And the people them who come with the artists, them went in at them, them go back in at them tent. And some of them went over here to watch the show. No, it was clear. Beres didn't come off a stage yet. By this time, Beres was on stage. So Beres now, Babyface team, all in his tent, in their respective tent. They were in their tent. Because they have to keep, keep the way clear for Beres as well. So we never keep people out of so for when Beres come off stage. We keep it clear because they say, yo, Ronnie look nice when it's clear and empty and the artists they move more freely. Let's keep it that way and don't let nobody come back around here. Because who around here is the people who are supposed to go up on stage at a respective time. So we never open back this gate and let in back people for come lighter. We make it stay closed, people closed. People was okay staying over there. Because them still get for the show. Them still get for drink. And them know so for them artists not up on the stage yet. So there's no need for who's just back going, going around here. So Beres came off stage. Went to his tent. Beres in the chilling. In the gas intent, same time I'm go media. I'm go media. So this is Beres' route. Beres went here. Probably I'm going to tent and go meet. You can go media for me, sir? No. Okay. So Beres, this is Beres' route. He went here, went into this area, and went into this big media tent here. So this is where all media was conducting interviews. This is where Beres was. Baby face them was in them tent at that time. There was a, like a 30 to 40 minute band change. 30 to 40 minute band change. This area remained clear. When baby face were to up on stage, they were whisked by our some first personnel and his security detail. They move very fast. So said, so done. They move very fast. Them don't stop and say hello he, to he, she, and all the whole lady. Straight to backstage, to stage side right or so, to go up on the stage. See? That gate of them got you, to go up on the stage. Baby face up there work, everything, backstage still remain clear. By that time, Beres came, he did his, he did his media, he made interviews. Them can't have Beres in there over an hour, you know, because Beres is a man, he might go back, chill and him just work for nearly an hour. You understand me? Ronnie are still empty. These passages we are still empty. The same passage where where the security detail of Babyface asked to be clear based on movement. We kept it clear and Beres came back to his tent right here at tent number two and he was there chilling and reasoning with them people because Beres reasoned with them people them, them live like a family. He was very comfortable and cool. Babyface was working, doing them sure. It was fine. By the time Babyface would come off a stage, it was five because they, they say at this song, at what was one Whitney Houston song or what? When Whitney Houston song with them, so we we'll identify with say, when you, when you hear this Whitney Houston song, we're coming off the stage in four to five minutes. So we hear the Whitney Houston song. We sent to Beres' tent to ask him, are you going to come out now? Because if you're going to come out now, we want to be able to hold Babyface's team right here. So don't make them come through this gate and allow you, Mr. Beres Haman, chairman of the board, to leave and exit this area because both teams are huge. So very set him cool. He might go and chill. So we hear the Whitney Houston song, baby face doing thing song, baby face doing thing. He never wrap up in exactly five minutes. It did take a little longer, probably 10 minutes or so. And in that time, it's like Barry's changing mind and saying, ready, right? Mm -hmm. So Barry's ended up leaving 
before Babyface. Babyface was not going to come and go back to his tent. He was going to head straight to his vehicle and leave because his bus was the last one to arrive. So his bus, his vehicle was right here. But because Bursa, oh, because Bursa is never ready, we allowed Babyface vehicle to stay there. When Barris was ready, before Babyface, Barris Amman leave and even went into Babyface's van by mistake because he thought that was his. And he had to come out and walk. He walked. He never have no problem. He'd come out and walk to his van because he changed his mind and said, I'm ready now. Barris left. By the time Barris had leave out, here was Babyface them coming. They almost collided. Almost collided. But they didn't. It was fine. Both of them leave out one behind each other. That was done. No. 10 or 15 minutes prior to that now. This is the reason why I put Naiji Boy sticker right here. Remember now. Naiji Boy's tent is the closest to the stage. It is the closest to the common area in the back, backstage. And it is the closest to the media tent. I'm going to... Anybody who can do much more want to break this down for me. How long Nigel Boy performed for? Um, Nigel Boy performed for 25 minutes. He got off the stage. There was a, how long was the band change for Barry's? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Nigel Boy went to this media tent. 30 minutes of band change for Barry's was going on during that time. Barry's took the stage after that 30 minutes and performed for how long? Performed for 45 minutes. How much that? 75 minutes, that, right? When Barris exit and go, went to the media tent, Nigel Boy was still around there in the media tent, right? How long was Babyface's one change? 40 minutes. 110 minutes, that. Since Nigel Boy came off the stage and is in the media tent. 110 minutes. How long Barris performed for? How long Babyface performed, sorry? Okay, so that is... 170 minutes plus 13, 183 minutes. Do the match. That's all like two, that's all like nearly six, nearly three hours. That's nearly three hours that Nigel Boy and his team is not, I'm not lying. No, I'm lying. Because for the last 10 minutes of the ABFA set, that's when Nigel Boy came out of the press tent. So he was basically in this press tent for two hours, say so two and a half hours. Then. To play it safe. Nigel Boy and his team, when they came off the stage, they went into this tent and was between here and this tent doing interviews for nearly two and a half hours. Nothing is wrong with that because a good management wants his artists to do as much interview, after, especially after a stellar performance. Can Nigel, Nigel Boy shell the show? The presentation was. Awesome. Big up Dr. Love or whoever put that together. And then they did an awesome job. So, of course, you want them to get as much interview in as possible. They were back there for nearly two and a half hours. These tents are not supposed to be left open waiting for an artist for more than how long? More than, a, more than half hour. But they have up to an hour or an hour and 20 minutes. Because when another artist comes, the tent will be assigned to them. It's a Saturday night, so the tent was still free. It's not a dance hall night. We have a whole heap of dance hall artists, so we have to in and out quickly and switch up the tent. Then. The tent was still free for Nigel Boy. We never give away him tent. However, the fact that they were in this media tent for two and a half hours, they took it upon themselves to stay in that media tent for that duration to soak up the interviews, which is nothing is wrong with that. But when you make a decision like that and you come to this gate now and ready to go into your tent and our security get details and information to say, hold this place for the next 10 minutes because we need to get Barry Salmon team out and we need to get, no, we need to get Babyface team out because they're ready. But Barry's team was ready at the same time. So don't open this ear and let in nobody because this is not Nigel boy. And Doctor Love alone coming through. It's a whole team. Remember, you know, him have one big robot with tall or ten feet tall, and him have dancers. It's a whole team. 
Don't open this gate yet. So we had to keep the gate closed for 10 minutes. I saw Dr. Love around the gate cursing, shouting on top of his voice after he did two and a half hours in the media tent, soaking up all interviews, which he had all the right to do. But if you have to wait 10 minutes right here, sir, based on protocol for make this thing move with ease, after your artist get reggae some first platform to come damage the place, right? I don't see why you're supposed to take the social media and cuss out some first team. So we are the worst. You did a stellar show and nobody ever stop your artist from delivering, delivering his show. That's your supposed to be your main concern. Nigel Murray may, may be the biggest artist in the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months. However, Reggae Sumpress is still a huge platform that caters to his people. Do not turn good people into enemies because of your ego, Bridget. As a manager, you're supposed to be the one to calm the artist down and not to furiate the artist to make enemies. A good manager, look at what he's getting and weigh it with the, with the cons and say, no, man. I get for showcase my artist into a stellar performance. I get for soak up the media tent for nearly two and a half hours. We by ourselves, we did every interview with them probably about 40 media personalities in here, so you know, from different, from RE, TV, TVJ, Entertainment Report, on stage, all of them in this. So he did the right thing by soaking it up, you see me? But when you come back here, so and you're supposed to wait 10 minutes, don't complain and make it look like some first are the worst. All of this thing take months of planning, months to execute. Don't make the thing look like it's a little dance to keep around the road just because I have a social media to make your voice heard. <clears throat> and these, these are the things that happen. People don't know the details of what takes place behind these areas. Jamaicans don't understand we get away a lot when we have these areas crowded with people. And we still provide this area for them to crowd up and watch the show. They choose to crowd up this area the same way. And anytime we try to put our foot down and say, please stay in your respective tent. Keep these walkway clean. Crowd up over here so you can go watch the show. We don't put no rules on over here. So. It is still a problem. If the fire team, if the fire team come and see people in this passageway, they can shut down regular some first. Yeah. So while we are trying to discipline or make people, the few people around here adhere to the show, they are jeopardizing 20,000 people out front who pay them money to come and enjoy a festival. Enough of them not pay to come in because they are rolling with the artists and them get a free band. But they are the quickest run to social media and chastise the show. When you have 20,000 people out front, I jump and I enjoy themselves and I drink and I love the culture and I be respectful to the culture and I adhere to the rules. You have one artist or something that go on to him like him, go up on social media and try to bring down the show. When you have 50 artists who work the same night on this big stage and spread the ministry of reggae and dance all to the world, do them interviews and get paid and it's all good. But when you have one person with all six, seven hundred thousand followers, you know, because we know negativity go. Let like me I preach to our artists. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. As I'm saying, when you have, when you have one person with five, six hundred thousand followers have a bad, have an issue, they don't choose to come and talk it over with the regular Sunburst team. You know what them do? They turn on them phone and then go to social media and then spew hate and spew negativity. When you have 20 odd thousand paid patrons, enjoying the show that we provide. It don't make no sense. So we don't want to get up every day and address negativity. We don't want to get up every day and choose somebody come online and say something, we are addressing. The only reason why we are addressing this now is because that person chose to mention the chairman of the board who is Barry Salmon in a in, in spew of negativity. So I took it upon myself to address it because Barry's name never yet mixed up in a not negative in our music. But a man get earset and turn on him phone and decide to take earset as law. And I try to bring down a festival that is doing something so positively for, positively for Jamaica, the culture, the tourist industry, provide jobs for people in, other, in, in and around St. James. 
provide jobs because nobody now works some for so free. A few young artists may do it, but artists now work some for so free and them charge big money and them get paid. We are doing a huge service to this industry, but you have a few people who just try them very best to try to drag it down. We don't worry about that because some face too big for them to dry it down, as I said. We don't can't dry down some face. Because when you do something from the realness and you do it the right way, it only has to get bigger and better. I wish the time would have come when I highlight the positive side of the music. I like where, where TJ and, 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 and Enhance go on with talk about them something, you know? The same bridge, you know, talk. I don't mean, I see my elaborate on them thing there. But you're quick for go jump up and talk about the chairman and the board get disrespected by some first. Come on, people, man. Let's do better than that, man. I don't love social media again. And if you realize I'm not on social media, I preach and I do nothing. Because I don't want to be seen as that person where I use it as a tool to create distractions and look like me a cloud chase. I want to do some work and make it speak for itself. And I, that, I and I try to. So I just want to appreciate, appreciate love where we are though. And big up the people that will turn out to Reggae Sound Fest 2024. Big up Valiant. Big up Jada Kingdom. Big up... Uh, uh, who is missing again? Yeah. Big up Craft. Craft, they have laryngitis. If you never know. That's why I'm couldn't perform. You understand me? Anthony B. Had an issue why he couldn't perform. Man City had an issue why she couldn't perform. You understand me? A lot of artists came and they did perform. And they did a stellar job. Listen, the rain fall every day for the week or some fest. We had rain, heavy rain, but we still pull it off. We never hear the equipment them chip out one time. We never hear one feedback. You know what kind of intricate, talented people, a team of people, have to, to steer that ship straight through for an entire week for me to make it what it was? The sound, the look, the presentation, nothing to go wrong. After rains, after everything, after a late start, nothing will go wrong. That's where I celebrate because Jamaica is on the map in terms of presentation of festivals. One time when you look on some stage for Jamaica, you see two little people like this, so, and you see one stage with two monitors. We're not dead there so no more, man. We're in the big league now. Don't sound try to think to the big league and big up everybody who is the partners and the sponsors of this festival to make it go through with ease. Big up Joe Bogdanovich, big up Robert Livingston, big up Bob. Leon, Carla, the whole team, Martin, Lewis. You understand me? Me and Event. Big up everybody who contribute to this stellar show. I am honored to be a part of it. I will not watch negativity when they talk. You understand me? As I said, big up Jada and Valiant because you know next year everything I got fixed. Then I'm going to put on the show again because we're not riding the negativity while going around here. Big up the item self. Turn off my life. And first, me have to say, well, no, I really say me very outspoken and speak my mind of what it is, right? But a lot of people expect a lot of things from me um, that that's supposed to be a certain way. But me in a different frame of mind and all of that, and I will always be an outspoken person no matter what it is. Now, first, me have to say, big up to the Almighty, the Creator, for making things possible, that um, for the dreams and everything that He put in front of all of us. I mean, big up to the whole team, big up the whole team. I've done a wonderful job on making this happen. Yes, big up to me. You know what I mean? I've come up with a wonderful ideas and then go to the team with it. I say, yo, this is what I want to want it to be for Reggae Sound Fest. You know what I mean? I want, I want him to be different for Reggae Sound Fest. I don't want him to be like the rest of artists and that just come from Reggae Sound Fest and just perform and that's it. We want, want it to be something to be remembered. And there's a lot of things that happen behind the scene that a lot of people don't know. Then they see an event and see artists are performing and know, say, yo, this is, this is what makes him because what I did at for Reggae Sound Fest, we could not do it because of other, of all the expense was and all of that. We did have a drum show. It's supposed to be a whole drum show. A drum show, but we couldn't do it. So we scratched that and went and we couldn't do that. We have to find a different... Yes, the old alien ideas was always there, but me never come up with something different. So, come up with the alien suit and all of that and set the part there to where it need to be. And then, so funny, I feel like I was not comfortable with, with the set that I have 
um, we was going back and forth to the gospel music. And I said, this gospel song is a song that we're going to use at Reggae Soul Fest. So, not comfortable with the outfit alone and all that, I said, I have to find some other way to make this to be gigantic and good. So, we was at um, Rio Reggae and we went to a party at Rio Reggae. And we went there and all of that, we went to the party and we see. Um, there was a kind of dress code that was there. I said, a robot. I said, I did them a look and I said, you know, a robot, they look good. And I said, bam! It's like the creator bring me to the event there. If you see that robot, then I see a robot and I said, alright. Try to find out who one it and I find the one of it, make the contact and all that. And I said, yo, by all means necessary, I need that robot tomorrow, Reggae Sound Fest. So I said, yeah, they wanted to go to Reggae Sound Fest all this time, but they never get a chance. I said, alright. Make the phone call, come up with the price, and them, them agreed to it. And that, that was the Friday night, you know, we met the, 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 the robot. So, anyway, boom. Make the arrangement and them come and meet me at the hotel, and everybody leave one time. And that's how come that robot situation come up because, as I say, a substitute for something else. And uh, that's what makes our performance it is. Now, there's a lot of things, a lot of things that take place. Right? And if you don't have a problem, you don't have a problem. If you have a problem, you have a problem. More than say a big thank you to the Reggae Sound Fest team to having us there and um, give us the opportunity that my artist could have been there. Last year wasn't there, but this year was here. A lot of things he wasn't doing last year, but this year we're doing a lot. So big up to them for that. But then I know I'm talk. Part or whatever it is. So anyway, you know. The, my experience with Reggae Soundfest, my whole team experience with Reggae Soundfest, now giving the ins and outs and all that, because I hear a lot of things been circulating on social media that are not correct, right? And that are not true, and you have to be there, right? And I will point out what, what, what problem I, ha I have and what have changed backstage to let me flip backstage. And I did flip backstage. 100% flip backstage, back, backstage because I guess what happened. Me ever protect. My team and to protect my artists. And there must be a reason why somebody would flip. Now, um, Reggae Soundfest have done a lot of things, right? And which is great. So, when I've seen me, I have a lot of things from Brim. But, so, let me tell you the experience with Reggae Soundfest. So, did the contract with Reggae Soundfest way back in, I think, in March last year? We make an agreement in New York, me and Joe. And um, from there, so we started to do the planning and all that. And I think Niger Boy was one of the first artists, first set of artists that was, that, that actually booked for Reggae Sound Fest. And it took a while for advertising. Now, anyway, now, Reggae Sound Fest, when we finalized the contract, Reggae Sound Fest have sent me my deposit. There's no problem with the deposit. They send everything, continue from there. And um, there's things that I miss out on and things that should have been that didn't happen, but it's okay. We did our rehearsal. We actually came to Jamaica to visit. I came to Jamaica to visit. We actually get a chance to do two rehearsals before Reggae Sound Fest. And it was the best thing that ever happened. Now, I can't remember everybody's name of Reggae Sound Fest, but I have to big up to Bob. I have to big up to Scatter. I have to big up to... Oh Jesus, they're a band member. When you June, 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 I'm I can't, I can't remember any man. But if you want to big up yourself, because it's what you and Bob who oh, make it, make everything work out. No, you know, you are, you are, you are a business person. You know, once you do a fame thing in Ghana, the same one. So, they give them the deposit, come to Jamaica, we get my hotel. Remember, I don't know, unless you go to me and then go all the way up. Get me hotel. Then I arrange up Club Jamaica. When I come to Jamaica, you know, Club Jamaica, when I get off of the plane, them greet the plane and bring in a private room. And in that private room, and you can get refreshment and you can relax when you get off your flight. Them did all of that. Then give me my first class. Perfect. Never like the first class food, but it's okay. Then give me my first class. The whole team member was well taken care of. Good. Lana Jamaica. The 16th, reach a Kingston, the 17th the next day, do my other rehearsal. As I said, they comply with 
90% of everything that we agree with are 95%. The diversal, I came down to the house now, because you know we have our own place in Jamaica. Come down to the house and watch it. Leave on the morning of the Friday morning to Montego Bay and check into reggae. To reggae and reggae. Right? The only thing I have, on the problem that I have, it was a lot of um, little ruptured away the car with, with the hotel and all, when I get there and all that. But, we managed to start it out and everything was fine. Everybody in the room was good, hotel was good, all of that. They did all of that. Right? I didn't know a lot of things about Reggae Sound Fest, but as time goes by, I learned about Reggae Sound Fest. So, then did that. Then said they're going to pick us up at the hotel at 8.30. I was downstairs before 8.30 waiting for them. They show up. The team members was downstairs. I asked them for a bus and asked them for a car. The bus came, the car came, I said, no, I let everybody go in on the bus. We did all of that. Then take us to the venue. When we get to the venue, we have our own security, which is the police. They could not go in inside with their weapon because of other whatever happened. So anyway, I have a little bit of thing that go on at the gate and all, but follow the rules. When they get to Reggae Sound Fest, everybody has to come off of the bus and then search the bus and search everybody. The security is good. They did that. Right? Then everybody get back on the bus you know, and drive inside. When they drive inside, there's somebody from the team, I can't remember my name, that came and meet us by the bus and said, this is going to be the person that's going to take you to your tent. I tell everybody, let's get off the bus. The robot came. The robot couldn't come in because the parking and all that. So they make every, they bring in everybody as the artist, everybody else, and then now me go back now and go make sure that the robot come inside. Right? Letting the robot in bring in equipment, blah, 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 all of that. Um, I did have a certain amount of ticket in my contract. But the reason why I did have a, a low number of tickets in my contract is because our team was not that big. So, all everything that I asked for in the contract, I, I'll get it. I don't know if I get enough food. But anyway, now, when we do, when we, when we sell reggae songs as before, we never have backup singers in it. We never have dancers in it. So in that whole time of me arranging the whole performance and all of that, I end up after to come to Jamaica and have to find dancers, which big up to Jenny Jenny, who introduced me to the dancers, and big up to the, to, to the, to the band, who introduced me to the backup singers. So you know, so if I find new people, that's more money. And you know, so that's more thing because I want my artists to have one of the best performers. That was my goal. I don't care about money, I don't care about none of that. Anyway, everybody's on the same page. I've been running up and down from my come Jamaica. I've been making phone calls from the America to make sure that. Then bring us to our tent. When we go to the tent, we have water, we have biscuit, we have liquor, we have coach, we have fun, we have air condition, everything in our tent. Then treat us good, men and good, no problem. Only no married me love the money part. So they never bring the money at the hotel, come give us as whatever. But we make a phone call them say, right, when you get to the venue, good. So when we get to the venue, you know, I'm already. The first thing me asked, well, down, who is in charge of the money? Um, somebody said to me, say, right, um, just wait till later. I said, no, I want to do that now. But everybody was busy. They showed me and said, go over there. So we we'll go over there and knock a door. Go in there, them say, Where are you? Me say, There's a such and such. All of my team did have on staff shirt. My shirt did have on staff and it have on manager on it. So I make everybody to be that they can identify everybody. I sit down on the chair, the man go in a suitcase, take out the money, give me the money, have the balance on it, give me one contract, sign it that you get paid. I sign that, take the money, come out, go back to the tent. Check on the team to make sure say everybody is good and everybody not in the tent. I tell the body, say, Listen, this is our tent. Certain things we're not going to do, we're going to follow the rules and all that. But good. We're ending good. Perfect. Time come down to them say we're going to perform at 11 13. We never too happy about the performance time because we did get a later date and whatever it is. But the mercy I got the work out good. Anyway, as we say, big up to scatter. Big up to scatter. I know scatter don't remember, big up to scatter. And big up to Bob. No. Time goes by and things happen and it change and change and change and change. Um, there was a point where them they want we perform after Barry's and Babyface. I said, no, that can't work. That not happen. 
that will never happen. I mean, I execute my artist that way. It was easy, easy. Whatever it is. I told him that I don't want nobody to introduce Nigel Boy on stage. I want everything go black. And that's all. The whole, you know, entry on the stage and that. So obviously some communication never happened, right? And um, Pretty Boy Fly um, started to talk about it. And they made a figure stop him in the performance. Pretty Boy Fly, my apology to stop it in the middle of your hosting. But I didn't have no choice to do that because... If we continue to do that, it would have damaged what it is. Anyway, that go on. Nigel get his time to perform. Go up on stage. Security at some of us was very tight. Very, very tight. Right? Them arg the, 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 the organized of reggae sound fest to a uh, extend is good. Now, remember me good all night, you know. All night me good. Them I do everything. One kettle and go get a kettle and bring it come. We have a problem where we never really get the cup and whatever it is and blah, 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 but that are whatever it is. Me never likes enough food never in my tent. Because my artists never eat until late. We, or we get food, we go over by Pepsi. Uh, we do all the, when Nigel finish and finishes performance, the, the, the biggest and the greatest performance, the best performance, big up to Burris. Because we and Burris hang out from Sunday to, to Monday, we we'll hang out and big up to Burris, man. Right, no food never in our tent, I never like it. And I did not like or oh, they never have a food court back there, backstage. I didn't see one where if we wanted food we could have get food. So they need to fix that up. Right? But we managed to get something by his aunt dog and whatever it is. So my artist was doing that, he was over, he was exhausted. So we did every interview that Reggae Sound Fest wanted, every media thing, we did ninety-five percent of it. We followed the rules and did everything. That we comply with everything. I think that we was probably the only person that complied. As a matter of fact, maybe we are the only one that got the money from Reggae Sound Fest and end up spend back the money in Jamaica and spend back into production. Right? That's what I did because I didn't want to just take the money and then everybody get paid more to spend back in a production. That was my goal. Anyway, did that go over while I was in the the um the media booth. Somebody come to me and said that they need something in the tent. Remember, I leave all of my team members in the tent and gone. Well, my artist there and whatever it is in the media, the media tent. Go over there, somebody come to me and said they need something backstage. Right? I said, I said, okay, I'm going to get it then. Because I said, I'm not going to let them back. So I come out and I walk up to the gate. I said, I'm a big net man. He's not no manners. I'm going to need to fix him up. I come up to the gate, my mommy have a shirt to say management panel and say Nigel boy, right? I say, um, I walk up the gate, I say, I go up the tent. No, you can't come in. You can't come in. I say, what you say when I go up? I say, my tent. I say, I must deal with a policeman. I say, my tent is right there. And I'm going to the tent. You can't tell me, say, me can't come in. I say, I'm booked for this event, I'm paid for this event, and I comply with it. You can't tell me that. In the day, I go on the most because I don't know which authority them give him. So I decided, say, me and him, they'll go back and forth. And I say, yo, me need to go on a tent. Right? I have things to do my artists over there, say, me need to go on a tent. You can't come in, you can't come in. Me and him get in an argument. They say, you know what, I'm going to tonight. So the police was there, police, all right, come, we're going to work it out. I say, I want to go on a tent. I just say, I want to go on a tent. That's how I go. Anyway, they did that bad When I went to the gate, there was so much people crowded at the gate. Big argument there, gate. This is one of our Miss two young ladies, they're bald. They want to, they, they, remember, you know, they're a part of the function, book for the function, and they could not go inside at the gate, which we should have, have authority to go inside because we work an event. Anyway, I did it, did they go on crazy upon him till me push the gate. Right? The man said, Yo, where are you, Mr. Brother? The brother with it today, you know. Push the gate. And I, if I never go there and push the gate and get in, nobody would not come in. Then black everybody outside. Don't care who you is, then black out everybody. Go down my tent. Go, go get my if you get. I'm going to walk back at the gate and walk out. When I reach, when I, before I go over the gate, I see my team member them turn up out there like a fugitive. Then no one let them out. And if they let them out, the matters and they can't come back in. Right? 
I am the only one that was at Reggae Stone Fest that went there with staff shirt. That everybody that was working the night before have on a shirt to show that their staff and it have a name. And I make sure that was a priority that that was done. Anyway, them did them say, yo, we are gonna go back, we are gonna, we are gonna go back around this and all that and talk to everybody and think I'm gonna be nice and whatever it is. Anyway, come back through the gate, go across my artist there. Backstage was, backstage was good. But now like, it was crowded, but it was good. The backstage was good. I'm not going to lie on them. A lot of things them set up right back there and all that. They have anything organized, but a lot of glitch was in the system. Anyway, done that. Left the team member them around there. Then if you have a certain band, you can't go up on the stage. We managed to get the opportunity. Even though with some of them didn't have the team member didn't have on the, the correct band because I give everybody band. If you're not working on the stage, you don't need to come on the stage and hang out on the stage. I don't like the hang out, I don't like the crowded thing, I don't like the interaction. So everybody follow the rules. Right? Go up to tent as I say. Everything is good with Dr. Love C and me pissed off now from them tell me say they nah, let me in. Right? Niger exhausted. Did the Pepsi as they say, he made some food. We walk all the way from where backstage was, all the way, way up on the other side to go at Pepsi tent. All good. Go there and do that and big up to Carla. Big up to Carla. Carla actually took us to the Pepsi tent and she walked with us, go over there. Big up to Anthony Turner and Jerry. We walk over there and it was easy walking over there. It was like a rumble going through the crowd, you know, people have pictures. I went over there and did that. No. Coming back from the Pepsi tent, we said, we are go backstage now because we're ready to go and whatever it is. As I said, our ride picked up on time. Our ride dropped us, dropped us off on time. They treat us good. But when night is done now, and exhausted and coming back, when we reach at the gate, now to, like the gate is, is right here. We walk up to the gate, the same security then today. Remember, you know, I have to have assistant for my artist. Can remember his vision and prayer. Right? Let's make sure everything good in me. He's my priority. There's nobody is my priority. Not even me. Let's make sure I'm good and get whatever I need. Right? As we said, we get some don't women no money. And then good with that. Now, when we reach up, I get to Nigel you now. The man I got tell me, he said, no, no, we can't come in. We said, where you say, where I go? Nigel stand up right there. My tell me, say, we can't come in. He said, did you? I said, you know, so my artist book for this and get paid for this. I tell you, I said, Bridget, let me tell you something. I want to write us right now. No. Because you tell me, say, my artist, you know, I go stand up. Write us and you're not letting me in. You're looking at him, you're looking at me, the manager, and him. You tell me, you're not know, letting us in. Well, we get clear out of that. The boss let in and the body called baby. If I say, I don't give a rat ass elbow baby face, I don't care. I don't care about that. So I did it, did it, did it till. I start getting mad for them now. I must tell them they are good from before now. They pissed me off when they tell me they didn't let me in. And when they missing out them, stop my artist from entering backstage and go back to his tent is when me flip. And when, when the, the, the Christopher Cook ship and Christopher Cook and got the doctor love and the zone and the zone and the zone and down the road. And I say, these people cannot be real. Right? One of them. These people, one of them. Anyway, I went and black my artist. When them black my artists from re-entering backstage is when Dr. Love flip from Christopher Crooks to Dr. Love and the ghetto and the, 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 the arrogant part is when I flip. Right? And it did not have to get to that point. Right? Because one of the good things is that, as I said about the ticket, I never had enough ticket inside of my contract because we never had that much people. But when I asked for ticket, they gave me the ticket. I asked for 11 more ticket. I did have 20. I asked for 11 more ticket. They gave me 11 more ticket. And I asked for some more ticket. And I've got the ticket. 
they have complied with it. There's no problem, right? But when you're gonna tell me that you are not letting my artists in because of other reasons, no, you pisses me off. And that becomes no, it becomes a big problem. And that is where the problem started. If I'm gonna sit here and say them ill treat us to the level like I've hear a lot of things online when I say, I'll be going to Berry Sunday, I'm going to Berry Sunday, I'm going to Berry Monday. Me hear a lot of things that people are saying about Berry Sunday that it is not correct. It is not correct, not correct, not correct. Some little things they kind of half, but it is not correct under any circumstances. Me, I tell them because I was there. Right? I was there and I was in the environment. It, 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 what they said happened, right? With berries. No. One thing happened, I mean, I'm going to get into that. Right? But it was nothing where it's like, okay, what were them this and no. That is not correct. If you was not at the venue, if you was not backstage, people call and they tell stories. If somebody call and say, because someone tells me, I say, boy, Dr. Love, you're not going bad. Yes, Dr. Love, going bad back there. I'm going bad to my extent of defending my team and defending my artists. Right? It's in my nature to do that. I don't have a problem with reggae soul fest. I don't have a problem with nothing else. I only have one problem. And the one problem was when time them bar me and bar my artists and bar my team from leaving backstage, when the past we have was a all access to go wherever I want to go and went and then bar my artists is when they flip. That is when I flip. And I flip. And I flip and I flip and I flip. And you cannot flip a certain extent in a Jamaica in front of inspectors, in front of police. And then the one of the RSA are like you. And the police was actually agreeing with me of flipping. The police was on my side. They said, no, this shouldn't be an all or whatever you have on your shirt and things like that. It is wrong. That is the only problem I have with even. I don't have no other problem with even. Some little things are my fault, right? As I say, it's a learning process in the working with some big festival. And they never give me no food. Then should I have a little bit of food on my tent? And then should I have a thing backstage? But I don't have a problem with Jua. I have a problem with I have a problem with every, all of them when time I can't get fainted the backstage. Right? As I said, they treat me good. Then give me the passes. I get the bus. Then put us in an all inclusive hotel. There was food after food you could eat. We go to a beach. We go to a beach. We're in a pool. We have all of that. We get all of that. I, I would not sit here and make up a story and tell life and answer them at this and all of that. Right? No. When all of that happened and all of that, and we get you, we like to say all of that. Right? Even scatter. See? Me go to scatter and at the venue, I say scatter right there and all of that. Me get whatever I want. Me go to Bob, I get what I want. The girl named Cara, Ka Cara, she named Cara. I forgot we had a girl named from the airport, the old lady. As I said, I got what I wanted. I get everything that I wanted from them. Them pay their money in full. They don't owe me a dollar. Not even a dollar. They don't owe me. They did everything. Right? Now, what I will say to all the promoters in the Caribbean, if you're going to keep an event, you guys need to be mindful and be respectable to other artists. You can't blame the artists. You have to blame the promoters. When you cannot be treating these other artists on a different level and treat for the local artists on a different level. We are not going to be equal, but it should be fair. Right? If an artist wanted a place for themselves, I think the best thing to do is that give them a whole stadium, give them a whole can field by yourself. But we should not have to restrict eras that people are walking and people need to go if the regular population want to come inside now that's a problem but if you're a part right of an event and you book for it i mean and 
John Doe de Yasso. Then black off Yasso. That means uh, nobody from Yasso can go Yasso. Right? That means that uh, everybody can walk around freely. The event does not build on one person. The event built on everybody that play a part of the event. And if you restrict an area because of particular persons, then you're also restricting the other artists. And then when you guys put security, you guys have to be mindful and talk to the security and say, listen to me, this is what it is, this is what not supposed to do. When you give some people authorities, they abuse their authorities and they disrespect people. And when they start to disrespect people, then that's when the problem would happen. That's when fight would break out. And that's when people would have things to say. Right? Ah, hold on. Hold on there. You understand what I'm saying? If the security... You can't explain to our security what to do. We can't listen to it. My security, my two security come. And they both have them gone. They're licensed, they're police. And when Richard, they get them said, okay, because of whatever it is, you guys cannot enter with your weapon. We'll have to hold your weapon until after the event. Right? And they hand over their weapon, and they went backstage, and we all get along fine. LA, we was like a family backstage, as we said. The, the reggae Sunfest team, they did their job, right? They never give me no food. I know we love a belly. All I win a team love a belly. They never give me no food. And no place never they could have it. So we have to come out and go buy food around so around so. But we'll go to Pepsi and get some food. The problem I have was with security. One particular security. The, the one where they sit down at the gate. We are bar up the gate between the backstage. And the tent. And them make everything escalate. And at them make everything goes after a different thing. Them change everything. Because we was good. We was perfect. We was fine. In spite we never get the food. We get some biscuit and sit. But the team was fine. So I will not sit here and come out and spread rumors on them. And tell story on them and whatever it is. But I flip on all of them. All of them I flip on. All of who me and them they go me flip on them. Because I say... Oh no security bar me, I'm an artist, I'm a team, especially I'm an artist, from entering the venue. That is the problem I have. I never have no other problem. And we have one of the best performance. Because I told you, Mr. Joe, I am not coming to Reggae Sound Fest to perform. I come to Reggae Sound Fest to make a statement. And it was my job and my duty to make sure that there's a statement that happened. And we did it. I want to be more, but we did it. Exactly what I wanted to do. And we delivered at Sunfest. And if you look at the result, the night of Sunfest and the morning of Sunfest, they're talking about Nigel, they're talking about Beris, and there was other artists. But whether anybody like it or not, the Sunfest could come and clarify anybody. We take regular Sunfest. The blind man take regular Sunfest. And then here comes the public, illiterate dunce and dummies. Why they put him in a silver suit, in a file pan suit? Because Jamaica, have, Jamaica, I've never seen anything like that on stage. Jamaica, I've never seen a alien before. Jamaica, I've never seen somebody just as an astronaut before. And that's what make we unique and make we different. Because guess what? I, I went and I buy all your fit pan line and make sure I so I bring everything that I needed. So when people are saying I'm a file and him and oh him and make money they should I buy no because we don't have any vision, we don't have any knowledge, we don't know about setting certain things. And I learned that as time goes by. And guess what happened? His outfit was a bang, and guess what happened? It's a silver suit, yes. You know what I mean? But him could have breathed, him could have walked around. All the everything kind of the suit. The, the, the whole thing that the dancer them have, everything was scanned and I bought everything done from the US. Big up to his to, to, to Niger Boy designer who helped to put it together. But the whole alien thing, I sit down. I sit down and I plan it through. 
I plan it through. And this is what I want, and this is exactly what takes place. And the world sound fest, the, the world, the, 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 everybody appreciate it and respect it that they have seen something different. You know what I mean? And Nigeria delivered to the highest level. The band did a wonderful job. The dancer, the backup singers did a wonderful job. I don't know when somebody flip, somebody flip. But I flip for reasons. If I never get bar, never get black from entering backstage, entering back the event, we wouldn't have no problem. It wouldn't be any farmer, this, that, that, and all of that. But, but all of what people are saying about even that this one backstage, it did not happen. Saturday night, it did not happen. No fight never broke around there. Nobody never go up in nobody's face. The only person me and them getting at was the security. And the security was very rude and very disrespectful to us people. To everybody. I don't even want to call the name of the other person that the security was very disrespectful to. And I mean, I forgot they make him fly the gate when we push the gate. And the police stand up right there when we push the gate. The police even move out of the way because the police see that me have on my shirt and the people that need to come in are people who are working. And even people that work for Reggae Sound Fest could not go backstage and they are working until they say, nah, let nobody in. Oh, you're going to have people work for even that you tell them, say, you're not know, let them in. You don't care who it is that you get strict harder. That is where the problem comes in. But all this fight and this going backstage and all, it never happened. None of that. I never see it. And me up and down like a rolling calf, like a dog without bone. I never see none of that. And I never hear none of my team members say that. It never, the media thing, one thing, I want to regular sometimes to invest the time into the, in all artists. Just like how they invest time into the media. Just like how the media was well organized, you all need to do the same thing. We all can learn from our mistake, even the tickets, to pick up the tickets. Then I never know that the tickets don't come at the hotel to you. We have to go to the, 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 the office to pick up the ticket in Mantega Beer. And when I heard that, I have to go pick up the ticket at the office. I said, all right, LA, come. I would drive to the stadium. I would go there and we have a problem finding the lady. But then we search and find out. I get my envelope. I sign off for my envelope. I call my ticket. All my ticket was in there. Not even one was missing. And it was not enough ticket, and I called for more ticket, and I've got the ticket then. And all the ticket that I that I asked for is ticket for people who are working. I got all the tickets that I asked for. There was in the envelope, and I get the money in the envelope. The first deposit, it came through as a wire. The next one, we get it, right? And then give me money, and then good. I don't have a problem with them. I don't have no problem with them. And what them say happened to other artists around there, I never see it. I never see it at all. It never happened. But a lot of people like to get up and make mischief and say things that, that is not correct to make themselves look good. A lot of people. Right? And they don't get the facts right. But you just want to tell them, say, you know, say, Dr. Love told ja Tom John run them out and they run with you, but it doesn't go like that. Right? Sunday we reach up. We never be embarrassed before. We embarrass them. Drink all day from the talk all day was, was one of the best experiences we have had in a long time. We went to his house, his two property. We went to his house and sit. With their birthday, must about really, we got to must about six, six, seven o'clock. With their birthday, we are late in at the night, so we are drink and talk and all of that. And uh, Barry should be a comedian. And then Barry said, You know what happened? They call Nigel Kid Kid. Tomorrow I need you. Come. And we drive from Ultras and went to the studio. And we went there about 11, 11 o'clock in the night. I wouldn't leave until like 3, 4 o'clock in the night. We went there with him and have a vibe and all of that. And the experience is good. Big up to the Jamaica Pegasus that always cater for us no matter what. No matter what Jamaica Pegasus always cater for us. They always assist. They always do more. And they make sure so we are all right. We don't even know if there are some floor in the Pegasus. We don't know if they exist. But big up to the Jamaica Pegasus. Big up to the PR team, Niger PR team. Big up to Niger Designer. Big up to DJ Skip. Right? Big up to his DJ. You understand? And big up to all the dancers, the backup singers, and most of all, big up to 
the man is going to be a airport that have done their part over and over again. Right? I can't remember everybody's name, but big up to Carla. Big up to, I can't remember, big up to Lee. I think her name is Lee from Southwest, but never big up to Bob. Big up to Bob because guess what happened? And I have to big up to Joa, but that of it. You understand? For making it possible that um, we could have be a part of the festival. And Joa, thank you. We get some of your money. Yes, get some of Joa money. Joa money is sweet. You understand? Big up to the whole team. Big up to the lady that arranged up the hotel. The, the thing with Soundfest that I, I, I can't come here and bash him because here's the thing. If a million things happen, I talk about it. But if a million don't happen, I don't talk about it. When you send an email to Soundfest, then response like it's bam. When you call certain people, bam. You call scatter, bam. You call bam, bam. You call the young lady, where, 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 call, I said, you call her, bam. Everything is bam, bam. Bam. You send an email, sometimes email them go good. Them send back email. Big up to agent Francis, the booking agents that have been communicating back and forth with them. Right? Their communication have been very, very good. I mean I'm pretend I mean I make up the story because they rub me around. I can call rub them and tell you. But they did a good job. And thank them for everything. Thank Jamaica for everything. Thanks the people them. Thank, thanks to the, the, the state manager, the whole thing, thanks to everything. But as I said, one problem, and one problem only that flippers me, because the man turned up at the gate and the tents and the to me. And that they should do the investigation and find out what there's in the truth, there's truth. They wasn't letting in nobody. And thanks to the mayor of Montego Bay, who have presented a wonderful gift, achievement to Niger Boy. Thanks for the Southeast Association as an Association and the trophy where you have received. Thanks to them for that. You know what I mean? He deserve it. He like it. Right? And um, everything was just good. I'm still there, Jamaica theory. Still there here. See? So I know people are expecting me to come on and say, yeah, yeah, me and John Brown said this and John Brown said that. Dr. Never come. No, they never have no problem and they never, they, they never pay me because they me and talk this on the matter of my heart. That I one problem I did have with Soundfest. And me, they have another problem with them in the beginning with the whole rehearsal situation. I tell you, it was like one, two, three. Me ask them more, listen, then give me one time. I think they must give me. 15 minutes and then give me more time, more time, more time, more time. Then there's a dash time, a dash time, a dash time. So, and Niger boy have executed every song. There was more songs, but we take them out. I said, he can get all the time we wanted. And he did his job. He was pleased with his performance. The whole team was pleased, and I was very pleased with it. And the public is pleased with it. And thanks to those young ladies, as I said, that did a wonderful job. And big up to the band. But in the band, there's one girl in the band. There's a girl that played in the band. Young lady, anyway you're there. Just because of you. Just because of you and the rest of the team member. As a female in the band, you have raised the barrier so high that we have to think about a lot of things. You guys did a wonderful job. Great job. Beyond job. And everything was fully executed. And we're good at that. You know what I mean? So, that's why we come up here and just all of that. And... Me at a point in my life, and at a point where I don't feel like I want to sit down and answer people and entertain certain negative things. People that are sitting and looking for attention are people that are sitting and talking about things. We don't go like that, I don't know nothing. You understand? We don't go like that. I'm ever big up to Russian, big up to DJ Frass, I'm ever big up to DJ Mack. I have a big up to Simpak. I have a big up to Sergey Great. I have a big up to Janice. I have a big up to Rizzy. I have a big up to, to Fitz. All these people that I'm, I'm Paul. Big up to Paul from Guyana, the student at Niger Record, and I'm saying them. Big up to all of them. But I'm big up to Russia. Because if it was not the help of Russia today, yet, Niger would not have been. Where is that as far as in music? I've been there from day one. But sometimes 
you're doing something as a manager, you need that extra push. And Russia did it and gave Nigel great songs. And Frass and all them, here comes the producer, them and all of that. You know what I mean? So, it was well done. No boy, no girl. She can't tell me, say, when I'm talking about with Beris. Beris is not in a league by himself. Nigel boy. Take reggae sound fest. Beg reggae sound fest. Set a standard of reggae sound fest. And I hope these artists going forward that is going to perform a reggae sound fest. Take a chapter out of Nigel book and take a chapter out of my book as a manager. And notice that we create history. We have created something different. And we deliver something different to the public that they have never seen. They have never seen an alien. They have never seen an astronaut. But they have seen it Saturday night. You understand? So, big up to everybody again. And that's what I come on to adjust and all of that. You know, I tell them I'm just them, mother. They've done certain things, but I did flip. And big up. Big up. Right, we can big up to excuse me, can't right? Tory. That print on the shirt and finally the team shirt them. Big up the Tory. Right? And print all that shirt them. Make sure it's a nice shirt them was well, you know what I mean? Done and all of that. So thanks again to everybody and looking forward for the next event. There's a lot of changes that have happened because I want to make a lot of changes after reggae soldiers and the changes I've made. And people have to comply with the changes and comply with the rules, right? And because of things like what happened with the security at Reggae Southwest, right? Just that one hearer, it pushes me to change our contract to different policies, right? And it has to be followed and everybody has to comply with our policies of what it is. So if anybody is wondering what happened, at Southwest certain things did not happen. Never happened. Me tell them what my problem was. And that was the only problem. And that was that. Thanks to them again. Big up the whole dumb soul. And big up over again. Big up over near me no call. But just don't remember name them. But big up all of y'all did a wonderful job. And thank you guys for receiving us. And we we'll move on to different things. England, the 27th, um, Tertolia. We're going to Belize. Trinidad will come in with a bad in us. We're going to St. Lucia, um, we'll be back in Jamaica again, so we'll tell them about that. Um, what else? What else? Um, listen. Um, that's, about, that's about it. That's pretty much about it. So big, up to, big up to everybody. Anybody have any questions before I come off? Anybody have, um, take five questions or if you don't have five questions? Something I don't answer. Right. Only remember this, you know, you have a lot of people on social media like attention, looking for attention. And the greatest insult in life is when people talking. And you don't pay my mind. Big up to Mama, Claudette, yes, Nigel mother. Big up to Nigel mother who bring me this word that this could happen. Big up to Grandma, big up to Nicholas, yeah. And big up to Nicole, big up to the whole Nigel boy family. Yes, um, what question I don't have to ask you now before we come out of this? Rum up. Thanks everyone that's saying great job. Um can cannot say at this moment, but as Nigel will say another word, just stay tuned and watch. Because greatness is in the making. Greatness is in the making. That's all. When the album coming out Chris soon. You know, we have to get to different steps soon. I'm just reading a few of the comments. That guy's not for now. How long did it take to put the whole performance together? From, from when? March? From March? Buying the clothes. Talking to the team. Back and forth. Then skip. Me skip at night, you did the set. Me pick the gospel thing, I know. We know the gospel sound click out here. Um, it, take, it take from March 
to the 19 to get everything together. And then this whopper suitcase we have to bring in. Because I'm bringing all of the outfit them for the girls and Nigel, everything we bring them in for one thing. So it takes some time to have planning and all that. Take a lot of planning. It's not just, you know, just work like that. But it's something that I wanted. And I wanted more. I wanted more. But we, we, we set the standard and we deliver. I um, missed a comment before. And as a matter of fact, right, as a matter of fact, L.A. Lewis, big up to L.A. Lewis and big up to Senate. Actually, Joe Bagdano was supposed to be one of the astronauts, but he didn't work out because he was busy and he wanted to take care of whatever it is. Right? So Joe is supposed to be one of the astronauts. It's supposed to be Joe and it's supposed to be L.A. Lewis. So when... Joe got busy, I ended up have to ask him security. Nigel security, he didn't can beat and himself. No problem, and the outfit fit him because man Joe, we are almost the same. So big up to L.A. Lewis, and because enough people never know that L.A. Lewis was one of the astronauts. And big up to Nigel security, that was one of the astronauts. And big up to Miss Thomas. Big up to Miss Thomas that I was been here, and now is the right our foot. Yeah, big up to the security team and all that, yes. So that's what is supposed to happen. Um, Jew was supposed to, but he never had a chance to do it, but it's still pull off. What else is ask now from come off? You know, I say, no. A different doctor love, you know, and the same doctor love. Me they on a, a different thing. I may stay upon the party. Upon the journey there. What me they on? Because I can't go high, I can't go low, I can't turn on, I can't turn off. Me just on a different thing. I like the floor, I they on. I'm comfortable with it. Me do it. I'm not perfect. I'm not the best, but I'm great. And God has moved me in a theme direction where I want to move me in. A. Right? What about Vegas? Vegas good. Yeah, man. One peanut. No, Vegas good, man. Yeah, Vegas good. I'm going to talk to Vegas. Yesterday, this morning. Yeah, Vegas good, man. I don't know. Someone has walked me to Vegas. Vegas good. How about something happen? Oh, I mean, yeah, some people tell me there's something. We don't have to learn this, we tell you. When I hear when some, when some go, idiot, unscrupulous people talking. We don't stop paying attention to unscrupulous people. Oh, let's stay in the focus of people that are going somewhere in life and people are moving barriers. Let's stop entertaining people who are not moving no barriers, who don't have nowhere to go, who do, who they in one spot and one spot only. Right? Let's stop. Worry about people who will never be in the category of where you're in. Because if you entertain people that are just talking for attention, I just want to be seen. Because you have some people give up on life, you know. You have some people that not have no way to turn, but they only see the negative and want to be seen. So when they want to be seen, the word is, and keep it moving. Because people are looking for attention. For you to say A, B, and C. But because if you're moving to greater things, you don't pay attention to where stands. You don't pay attention to people who are stuck in a one position and one position only. One gear, not two gear, not three gear, one position. You understand? Because when some people are not a part of something, they'll find out kind of fault about it. And people like to take credit for things that, that they have to sit on one and say, really and truly and all uh, that. People get tired of people doing things that don't make any sense. Right? Black them out on the mind. Black their thoughts out on the mind. Stay away from them. Stay away from their life. I wasn't like this. I was a termite like a lot of them, you know. I used to be on social media, I carry on. But me tell people say, I carry on for a reason that I can be this today. So I was always the smart one who played fool for catch wise. And me tell them, you're the biggest hypocrite. You understand? Everybody did what they're supposed to do. And people, you see the thing is, people are looking to see. If Dr. Love and Nigel Boy have a problem, we don't have a problem. People are looking at me and go, he'll treat him, we don't have a problem. Me and him work good, we get along good, we don't have any argument. In speak, when he feel like say, he needs to say something, we don't have a problem. Listen, as long as that man have him phone and get to him forget and have him girls, he's good, you know. You understand? He's good, you know, no problem. 
he's comfortable, he's easy to deal with, he do feel part, me do feel, everybody do them part. So, all I don't ever have to sit and worry about and say, oh, and this and right here, that, 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 because it's a shame like dog, because guess what happened? Look what have happened at Reggae Sound Fest. You think a boy can do that? He deliver. He delivered. He more than delivered. And if his mother never bring me into this world, it wouldn't be a Niger boy. One of the greatest talent, the best, that have exists in the last decade in a Jamaica. Greatest. And if you know I expect for some fear that I go and it's not going to happen. We are in a part, and we depend upon as Barry said, stay focused. You are one of the most talented artists I've seen. Talented. Barry said, you all are my family. Kid, you are my family. You are, you are my family. You are my artist. And my torch goes down to you. I talk like Barry said, my torch goes down to you. You. But I want you to leave my girls alone. So now you say, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to work it out. I will keep your portion and I will keep my portion over here. So, Barry said, I think it's fair enough. You keep your portion, I keep mine. You understand? Everyone in Nigeria, go, Nigeria have been recognized by people, have been glorified by people, people treating good. With their up and down on the road, and sometimes Nigeria doesn't know where we are going. Nigeria doesn't know which country we are going, whatever it is. Right? Nigel just knows it. And guess what happened? Every contract that has come through, every contract that signed him, see every one of them. He know about every one of them. There's not one contract that he do He know about every contract. He know about every money. And he keep him business to himself. You understand what I'm saying? So we're good. We are good. Big up to the DJ. Big up to Sherry. Everybody at work. And we all... We are growing. We are getting there. And eventually, it will get to be, you know what I mean? More. Right? In other words, Nigel sees everything. He knows what he's supposed to know, which is everything. And you can't fool him. Don't sit down and feel, let me hear Nigel say, no, 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 no. He's visually impaired. Nigel said, no. No, 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 Kohan. I am not visual. I am blind, totally blind. Blind, look. Devil has a blind. So, oh. You understand what I'm saying? So, you mean good hands in the right of my foot? He must sleep right now. I mean, when I get up, we will be beat yesterday. Right? We will be beat yesterday. We're supposed to step on a plane today. But we decide, is that right? But it is. So, we have, we have other business to do. We have to take care of So. We are going to be in River today and do full thing and all that. You understand what I'm saying? We're good. So don't sit down and worry about him. Don't sit down and worry about him. And keep him business to himself. Me keep the business to myself. Me keep the business with him. Right? You could have joked him with a pin in the you. He not tell you. And now you don't talk. In, in, when you hear him talk, he must be something about And it's very, very weird. Right? Very, 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 very weird. You know, Nigeria say, yo, you know, say, me miss my kid, me not walk with my kid in a long time. You know, say, me never walk with the kid now because the kid, the, me not walk with the kid like the kid miss me. I need the kid. Me care him. Me are going well. I'm going to go where I go. The only place me not care about you. I didn't say, I go about you. I go up the door and show him. I didn't go about you. And then done. You understand? Nigeria is operating 97, 98% like a regular human being. In other words, you have to Nigeria is operating 99%. Right? 99%. That is fully operated. Do not leave your girl around him. Do not leave your wife around him unattended. Because I'm telling you, the highly possibility of you losing and something happen is very, very, very at stake. I'm telling you, you hear me telling you? Don't do it. Don't come around and run and joke with him. Let me see a man that do something that he may have to laugh. Go somewhere the man and say, you know what I see, man? 
man shake your hand and all the way. My man at him say, hey, touch your body, child man. Touch your hand. And they say, you don't want me to do that? And she has to give me permission. You don't want me to do that? Because the possibility of something happen, it can. You understand? Man, I this. Fully authorized. See? Anyway, for me come over this, Big up the same back with the new song. The thing about to get crazy in a minute. Crazy, crazy in a minute. See? Anyway, big up on yourself. One doctor love to the world. See? Big up. <laughs>